hey and hello and welcome back to my channel i have a little small audi haul again you guys i'm still prepping well actually i went to audi today because i decided that i wanted some chicken wings uh, i think the cheapest uh package that i seen was a little over $18 so needless to say I'm not having chicken wings because I just I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it I just could something in me would not let me pay $20 for a pack of chicken wings so I did find some skinless boneless thighs and I paid four dollars and 34 cent and i don't know can you guys see how much they were a pound because i have no idea i just oh they were ooh, they were 329 a pound so just a little bit cheaper than the uh chicken wings but I only spent $4.34 today. Like, you know, $18. I wouldn't have been able to grab a little extra stuff for my for my prepper pantry if I had uh, spent that much. So I, I just couldn't do that. And I also needed some milk. Y'all know, y'all know I'm not drinking that. I'm cooking with that. Um, I'm gonna make some um uh, no need yeast rose and it calls for milk so i didn't know if i could use almond milk and i do have almond milk but i wasn't for sure so i just got a half half a gallon i can't remember the price for the half a gallon of milk but should be here on my receipt it was a dollar 58 so yeah i went ahead and grabbed some more paper towel they had some more this snow snow soft it's not the best paper towel uh it's not the best paper towel but it gets the job done and i don't see myself using extra i really don't it's just i guess it's okay once you get past the first couple of the first couple of towels and then it's pretty cool but those aren't those they were um 79 cents a piece y'all seen me get these a couple of hauls ago um no my last haul so they had more on the shelf so i decided to pick up a couple more i got me two more cokes 214 i know the price of those by heart so i got some of this uh berman's you know this audi brand steak sauce yeah I have quite a bit. I keep saying, I don't know why I'm buying all this steak sauce because clearly I'm not going to be able to, uh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say clearly I'm not going to be able to afford a steak, but you speak things into existence and I'm not speaking that because y'all know I love me a ribeye steak. So I will pay $20 for a steak. That's crazy. But yeah, I will every now and then i mean either way it's just it's just a bad deal all the way around i'm not gonna say i'm done for it but it's a bad deal all the way around it's expensive so yeah i picked up two of these for the prepper shelf i got another uh, container of water from audi it it's still three dollars and what 79 cents how much Three, yeah, three seventy nine. I'm, I'm correct. I got some smoked turkey breast because I think I'm gonna have a salad today. Well, the mesquite turkey breast. I found this Concord. I've been just like really trying to grow me a Concord. Trying to get a starter for some Concord grapes, y'all. These are my favorite grapes. I actually love Concord grape. Ugh, love them. 
They are like my favorite. I go over to my mom's house, my cousin. Um, she now has my parents' property. Um, and <laughs> there's grapes. I'm telling you, we lived, we had an orchard in our yard. So there's Concord, there's like two Concord grapevines there. I believe she actually planted these two, but I go over there in the early fall, you know, when the Concord grapes are good and I, I tear her grapevine up. I get me some grapes off of her vines. And they are so delicious. I love Concord grapes, but I'm going to grow my own so I don't have to go over and ravish her grapevine. <laughs> I got me some uh, crackers, these golden rounds. I normally buy the veggie. I decided to buy the regular ones today because the veggie crackers and these golden rounds, they don't hold together real well to me, but I like them. But I like when I eat my cracker that it doesn't crumble apart. And these, they don't crumble apart, but the veggie ones, they crumble up real easy. And I'm like, look one day, at the best use by date. It's 10 22 Now, I could not get these for a long, for a long time. For long, learn for long term, um, you know, shelf life. Well, I guess I could if I put them into some mylar bags, maybe. I'm not for sure about that. Or maybe in my food saver. But I love having crackers and I'm going to need to stock up on some crackers, but I'm going to need for the ex the best use by date to be a little bit further out than this because it'll take me that long to eat one box of crackers but maybe not because my daughter eats these too she loves crackers well i used to get the ritz until <laughs> i don't know if i'll be getting ritz anymore because they are shoot crazy expensive y'all but that's my um that's my Audi haul for today, and it was $33.75. I've been spending a lot of $30, $30 when I go into the store. Y'all, I stay in the store. But okay, let's get into this food pantry haul. These big, huge baking potatoes again. I believe, yeah, two 10-pound bags of baking potatoes. This is the same bag that we got last week on the haul. Yeah, so I got two 10 pound bags of potatoes. And we come over here, I have 12 bags of these little petite carrots. I'm gonna wash these carrots all up and I'm gonna cook them down. And I am going to freeze them for carrot souffle. I love carrot souffle, so that's what I'll be doing with these carrots. Um, and we got two. Look how big these apples are. These apples are huge. And they are apple veg peppers. So look, how, look how big that one is. That apple right there is. Look at that one. They look good too. Then they had the little, um, I think they call it the farmer's box. And it had these apples and ooh, a bag of potatoes. And the potato, oh, here they are. This bag of potatoes. This bag of potatoes. This um, <laughs> cabbage and these little baby, 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 baby crowns of broccoli. And these apples right here were in the fresh farmer's uh, box. Got 
three cans. Never gotten big cans of stuff like this. But we got three of these restaurant size cans of tomato ketchup. Seven pounds a piece of ketchup. And it is USDA organic California tomatoes. But the best use by date is already passed. It has already passed its best use by date, which was March 30th, 2022. So that's why we got those on the haul today, because they have surpassed their best use by date. All right, guys. But I'm thinking that I may be able to can this uh, ketchup. So I'm going to actually open one just to see how fresh it is. If that ketchup is still pretty fresh, it will go into some ball jars. But I'm going to give one of these to my cousin. She's already said she wanted one. So I'm going to give her one. And she's going to get a bag of the apples and also a bag of the potatoes. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by to see this food pantry haul and grocery store haul. Don't forget, shine that light. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, you guys. Goodbye.